Hi, this is Chris Defonzo in a field south of Dundee, Michigan that the grower has had trouble with Asiatic garden beetle in the past. And uh, Ashley is with me. She's in, uh, interning in Adrian for the extension office. So we're looking for Asiatic garden beetle. So one of the things we see is we've got some mare's tail in the field that has uh, come through his rye cover crop. We're gonna pull these, these up because these are Asiatic garden beetle candy, sort of. And uh, so we don't see any underneath these so far. How about you, we got anything in there? So we have these escapes that uh, probably it's gonna be hard to control these when the grower sprays a little bit later. Let's move down here. We'll pull it up again. We've got some more over here that we can pull up and look. Big one here. Well, here we have, I think this is going to be Japanese beetle. This is a little bit bigger. You can hold that guy. And here we've got a corn plant. Oh, and here's an Asiatic garden beetle. Here, we'll put this in Ashley's hand and, and she can show the comparison between these two. Both of these are third instar, which means that they're the biggest that they're going to get. And the Japanese beetle is always bigger than the Asiatic garden beetle. And the Asiatics usually are very, um, a lot more active than the Japanese beetle. So the message here is that uh, we're gonna have a lot of land that's probably either not planted, maybe a cover crop will go in, but maybe that'll be in the, a little bit in the future. In the meantime, there's weeds out there and the weeds are really attractive to Asiatic garden beetles and, and they will support them through their development. So any weeds like this that are out there are gonna feed the Asiatics uh, through their third instar, they'll pupate, the adults will come out, and then in another month, the adults are going to seek out these kind of plants to feed on the top, and then they will hang out underneath the plant during the day because they are active at, at night. So uh, just the importance of weed control, even in these acres that are not going to get planted, uh, either putting in a cover crop, uh, doing a burn down, tillage, whatever you can do so that those weeds don't go to seed and also don't support other insects.